boost your academic English, mastering synonyms and antonyms. Hello there! Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that can dramatically enhance your academic speaking skills, using synonyms and antonyms. By the end of this video, you'll be able to apply these language tools to express your thoughts more precisely and with greater variety. Let's get started. First things first, what are synonyms and antonyms? Synonyms are words that have similar meanings. They help add variety to your language and make your speech or writing more interesting. On the other hand, antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. They can help you clearly express contrast or opposition. For instance, synonyms for the word important could be crucial or significant. An antonym for important would be insignificant. Now, why should you use synonyms and antonyms in academic English? For one, they help prevent repetition and increase the richness and diversity of your language. Furthermore, they can enhance your clarity, especially when expressing contrasting points. Let's consider the word increase. Instead of repeating increase multiple times in your speech or writing, you could use synonyms like augment, escalate, or amplify. To express the opposite, instead of saying, does not increase, you could say, decrease, or diminish. While synonyms and antonyms can be powerful, they must be used carefully. Some synonyms might have slightly different connotations or may not be appropriate in certain academic contexts. For example, while childish and childlike are synonyms, they carry different nuances. Here are some tips to guide you. 1. Context is crucial. Always consider the overall context of your speech or writing before choosing a synonym or antonym. 2. Consider connotations. Words might have similar meanings but different emotional impacts or implications. 3. Practice, practice, practice. The more you use synonyms and antonyms in your speaking or writing, the better you'll get at choosing the most appropriate ones. And that's it. Remember, mastering synonyms and antonyms is a surefire way to enhance your academic speaking skills. It might seem challenging at first, but with continuous practice, you'll soon be able to enrich your academic English with confidence. We hope you found this video helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Keep practicing, and happy learning!